Exclusivo Estados Unidos de América. Bienvenidos patriotas a la entrevista con el expresidente Donald Trump. El apoyo del 54% de los votantes republicanos lo convierte en un fuerte candidato para las próximas elecciones. En esta ronda de preguntas rápidas y divertidas, echaremos un vistazo a sus logros más notables durante su mandato y algunos de los líderes mundiales con los que ha interactuado. Esta entrevista con el expresidente Donald Trump es una oportunidad para que el exmandatario destaque sus logros y habilidades como presidente de los Estados Unidos. En su discurso, Trump hace hincapié en su exitoso desempeño en la economía, la reconstrucción de las Fuerzas Armadas y la creación de la Fuerza Espacial de los Estados Unidos. Además, menciona su apoyo a la aprobación del derecho a probar en casos de enfermedades terminales y cómo ha salvado vidas. Trump también habla sobre sus relaciones con líderes mundiales como Putin, Xi Jinping y Kim Jong-un. A pesar de las críticas por su cercanía con estos líderes autoritarios, Trump defiende sus relaciones, argumentando que es importante llevarse bien con líderes que tienen armas nucleares. Mis patriotas, nuevamente les presento al titán Trump como un líder efectivo y exitoso, y futuro presidente en 2024. Esperamos disfruten el final de la entrevista. Y tú dime, ¿qué opinas? And then COVID came in and I had to do it a second time. And when I handed it over, the stock market which practically crashed as it should. But when I when I took it over, when I had had it over, the stock market was higher than just prior to COVID coming in. Nobody can believe it. But what I did, I mean so many different things. So it's very hard to say specifically. The first thing one thing I did, I love, right to try. People were terminally ill. So many lives have been saved. Nobody ever talks about it. People were terminally ill. They're going to die. But we have a medicine or bio. And they want to take a risk. Give them a shot. We can't give it to them because they may die. They're terminally ill. They're going to be dead in a month. Mm -hmm. It was very hard. They've been trying to get it for 54 years. I got it approved. So now if somebody's very sick, we're allowed to use some of our very far out things, which won't be approved for another three or four or five years by the FDA. All right, and you know how many lives I've saved with it? So, so but, we've done so much. But that's a big, that built, was a big deal. Well, I'll tell you what, I rebuilt our military, but I also added Space Force. And Space Force, you know, I created a new branch of the United States military. Mm -hmm. That's a big thing. We did a lot of big things. All right. Can you give the names and give me a quick short sentence of narratives, whatever comes to your mind? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to have to go a little short, but uh, I got along with him great. Uh, had I been president, he would have been much better off because he wouldn't have gone into Ukraine. But ultimately, he's going to take over all of Ukraine. She. Uh, a man I got along again. I got along with him great until COVID came in. Uh, we would have been able to work together very well. I got, I made an unbelievable deal for our farmers and manufacturers where China was giving us $50 billion a year to our farmers and our manufacturers. Uh, again, got along with them great. People don't want to hear that. A lot of people say, that's terrible to get along with them great. When somebody has nuclear weapons that can blow up the world, it's nice to get along. I got along with them great. Balls and ram. Uh, different story. Uh, they're... Uh, religious zealots and I think they might behave you know when you mention Kim Jong-un he's not crazy he's very smart uh, do you think any of these people are evil but I look at Putin what he's doing in Ukraine is evil well if I were there he wouldn't have been doing it so he would have been better off and the world would have been better I look at, I look at China and the way they treat minorities there as you know modern days You know, inflation was caused by energy. When we turned off our energy, energy prices went up, it caused inflation, and that was a whole big thing. And Russia became rich. Yeah. Think of it. Russia became rich. Russia made a lot of money, more money than the cost of them prosecuting this war. Yeah. Think of it. Um, And we didn't have to do that. Schumer. 
I knew him a long time from New York. Always got along with him great until I became president. Uh, McConnell. Not good. Uh, a tremendous liability for the Republican Party and for the nation because he approved so much for Biden. It was almost as if uh, the Democrats had something on him. Tremendous liability for both the nation and for the Republican Party. Kanye, now that you know some of the things that he thinks and says. Well, you know, when I was with him, he didn't say that. And when he asked me to have dinner because he needed some help, right. I didn't say, well, what's the problem? So he, I didn't know anything about his attitude toward, I'm not reading about Kanye, I'm reading about President Xi, and I'm reading about Putin and Kim Jong-un. I'm not reading exactly about Kanye West. Right. But when he came here, uh, I think he, and I will say this, he didn't say anything about anti-Semitism or anything else. And if he would have done that, I would not have been a happy kid. Barack Obama. Don't know him well. Uh, don't deal with him at all. I haven't spoken to him since the very, very beginning. We did actually talk a little bit the first couple of weeks, but my views are so divergent that his, I mean, it's, it's just, I don't want to hear his ideas because we just disagree. I respect him, I respect him, but his ideas are so different than mine, it's easier not to talk about him. Michelle Obama. I like her, I respect her. Uh, the First Lady respects her, but I can't tell you much about her. She, I don't think she likes politics. I don't think she wants to be involved. Some people say, oh, maybe she'll run, that'd be fine. But I don't think she likes politics, and I don't think she'll run. Joe Biden. I don't know her at all. I don't know her at all. Seems like a nice woman. Joe Biden. Uh, I'm so disappointed what's happened to the country. I mean, the country, we were respected all over the world. Now we're a laughing stock. He goes to Canada the other you covered it, and he says, I want to thank China in the middle of the Canadian Parliament. Why are you reluctant to say he looks like he's in a Congress? Because I don't want to say that. I don't think it's appropriate for me. You can say it. Oh, I do. A lot of people say it. I, I say it. I think as somebody that is in the position that I'm in, I think it's inappropriate for me to say it. Únete a la comunidad de noticias republicanas sin censura y mantente informado con la verdad detrás de las noticias en Estados Unidos. Te esperamos.